Good morning YouTube, this is Chuck. What you're looking at this morning is uh, State Highway 87 coming into Payson from the Metro Phoenix area. It's a pretty busy road and this morning I'm going to try to give you a, a brief windshield tour of Payson and I'm going to see if the traffic will let me. I think it's, it's, uh, it's about 9 o'clock in the morning on Monday, January 9th and so traffic's not real bad so we'll see if we can get this done as soon as I say that of course we got traffic coming so we'll, we'll see if we can get this uh, I wouldn't even try to attempt to do this on a busy time but I think the, this morning it's uh, quiet enough I think we can probably get her done so let's let's try it and see how it goes divided highway all the way to the Metro Phoenix area first thing you see as you come to town is actually the reservation in the casino over there. It's called the Matazel Casino. It's not a real big fancy place but uh, we don't have a very big tribe here and they uh, that's our economic engine. The other thing you can see of course is the Mugion Rim right in front of us which is our signature. Our, we call this place the gateway to the rim and I've talked about it in some of my other videos. come into town from the south. I missed the welcome sign. I should have got that. Maybe you catch it as I pan past it. But you see the water tank up on the hill with the name painted on it. The street, the street here is called uh, South Bee Line because it's the, the highway coming up here from the Phoenix area is called the Bee Line Highway. Like I say, a lot of times the traffic's pretty busy on here, especially on weekends. We're the closest high mountain recreation area to Metro Phoenix. And as a result, we get a tremendous amount of recreational traffic. It's Big Circle K here on the right. So Friday afternoons and Sunday afternoons, uh, traffic is just horrible here uh, in the summertime because all the campers. It's a big hamburger and gas up stop. You can see another big service station over there. We got most of the fast food joints. There's a Wendy's right there. The rest of them are down the road here just a little bit. Got a shopping center over there to the left. Can't show it to you. And this first traffic light here is Main Street. If you go off there to the down there to the left, about a mile is the park. I've showed you that. And down there about four blocks is the fire station I worked at. On the other way, if you go the other way, over there, a couple blocks is the hospital. And here's this is all the over here is the county complex, and the courtroom and all that, and the post office is right there. I'll swing back over here again. Try not to pan too fast. Like I can say I'm doing this while I'm driving. It's technically an ordinance violation here because you're not supposed to use. Not supposed to use cell phones or do any texting or anything, but all I'm doing is holding the phone up and talking to it. So, and like I said, I wouldn't have tried to do this if the traffic was too bad. I think we're going to get caught in another light here. That's fine. My house is, if you turn left here at this intersection, my house is about oh, three quarters of a mile over that direction. This is the main intersection in town and this Highway 260 you can see that goes to Sholo and Holbrook, and a lot of the traffic coming through town turns and goes that direction. Uh, there's uh, the developed area, the commercial area ends about a mile down that direction, and we're not going to go that way. I'm going to go this way further north because it has a better representation of what the town actually is. There's a, at this intersection, uh, there's a car dealership over there, and well, you can't see it real well, but there's two shopping centers. There's one right over here to the right and then there's another one past the McDonald's over here back there. Uh, there's a Bashes and a Safeway and then just up here just a little bit is our Walmart Supercenter. 
There you can see the Bash's market over there if my A pillar doesn't get in the way. Got a Tesla recharging supercharger set up right there. It's got 13 hookups. I've seen as many as nine Teslas being charged there at any one time. There's the Walmart Supercenter. It looks pretty much like any other Walmart Supercenter that you might see. I'm getting stopped at this intersection. And right here on the on the right is uh, is actually our city hall and the police department. And all the government buildings are down there. little uh, place for the RVs and stuff. I'm going to do a video on that one of these days. It's called Choice Auto. And their, uh, their claim to fame is besides selling regular cars and, and uh, RVs and stuff like that is they have a pretty thriving muscle car business in there. And they've got some, any one time they'll have two, three million dollars worth of muscle cars uh, sitting in here. Here's a area that, the commercial area that's referred to as Payson North. Yeah, we're coming up on the first of two roundabouts here, and the first one, the first one, if you uh, if you go to the left, you go about a mile. It goes to up on the hill to our airport. I've shot videos from the airport before. And then if you go the other way, it's just a a uh, goes into a residential area. And there's a pretty significant residential area off to our right here. Also right here on the this little street here on the right is right over there you can see the second fire station that's called fire station 12 and i've shot video of engine 12 before the uh, state of arizona got real interested in putting roundabouts in because they uh, they slow traffic down that's what they do and that's what they're designed to do and love them or hate them they do work to do that and we've got a couple of them here and the section of north b line here where we're going is uh, the um, northern end of town and there's a, a nice gateway there they've talked about what they could do on the south end to try to spoof spiff that area up a little bit but they uh traffic is just so bad down there they haven't really come up with a good solution yet yet so there's a bunch of as you can see there's undeveloped property along here there's a lot of plans for a lot of stuff uh, there's a church here on the left and uh, up here at this next roundabout if you go to the right there's another church and some other uh, commercial lot activity down there a little bit and then it goes swings back around almost like a bypass back around to the to the east side of town but as we're coming up on this on this last roundabout and I'm gonna turn around here you can see they they pretty much landscape this one it's pretty nice and uh, there's a big elk sculpture in the middle of it up there. Hopefully I can catch that on camera. And over here we have a Home Depot. So that'll do you, that'll give you a quick drive-through tour of town. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close it off right here. We're getting into the sun a little bit. I try not, as you know, I try not to do that. So I don't know how long this will go. We'll see how it uh, plays out. And we'll talk to you on the next one. So take care of each other, love each other. And it's going to be a beautiful day today, uh, mid-50s temperature, just a beautiful January day. And for now, I'll say peace out.